the most powerful force in entertainment isn't a wizard or even a werewolf, but the women who create them. I volunteer as tribute. The franchises that are really driving uh, book sales right now are all written by women. Women like J.K. Rowling, Stephanie Meyer, Suzanne Collins, and now E.L. James, whose Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy is one, two, and three on the New York Times bestsellers list and just caused a multi-million dollar Hollywood bidding war. As usual, I'm stunned by the reaction. Forbes writer Jeff Berkofasi isn't stunned. He sees James's success as part of an entertainment trend years in the making. Young male viewers have been historically the hardest to reach. Uh, so the idea was, you know, come up with a franchise that, that young men will pay attention to and then women will just come along. As TV audiences and movie audiences have, have fragmented into smaller and smaller niches, that no longer is as uh, successful a strategy. They just want a good show. That's all they want. Now the formula they're looking for draws from the fantasy and the romance genres. A formula critics say favors female authors like Suzanne Collins, who wrote The Hunger Games. I just can't afford to think like that. The stories are amazing. The books are incredible. The characters uh, are, are so inspiring in a lot of ways. I was one of the obsessed <laughs> fans of the book. <laughs> and then I... And then I got cast. Women have been better at figuring out this formula. What young adults want to read and what sorts of um, stories get in their head. And the success of female authors, it's not just limited to books and movies. For the upcoming fall season, the major TV networks have ordered seven new pilots based on books. Six of them written by women like Scruples' Judith Krantz and Candace Bushnell, author of The Carrie Diaries. It's an inversion of a stereotype that's worked against women authors for so long, and now it's working in their favor. Honestly, don't you two read? A powerful spell has been broken in Hollywood, not by wizards and wands, but women with pens.